everyone. Today I'm going to be telling you guys about the steps that worked for me on how I got a 5 on the AP statistics in exam. And I didn't think I was going to get a 5. I thought I was going to get like a 4. But I got a 5 and that was pretty cool. And I didn't even take this as a senior or a junior. I took this as a sophomore along with pre-calculus honors. So that was pretty fun. Um, so yeah, I did pretty well. I got an A plus both semesters in stats as well. So uh, I think I am quite qualified to tell you guys about how I got a five and how to do well in that class because I did well in that class anyways. So let's go along and I'll tell you how I got uh, my five. So this is the steps that worked for me. I hope they'll work for you because they are great steps. So throughout the year, you always want to participate. This is something that I didn't do, actually. I didn't do this that much because I was in a senior class and I was a sophomore and I was kind of scared, to be honest. But this can't harm you, right? So if you feel comfortable about participating, I definitely suggest you do so because it actually really helps. And a huge thing is to do your homework. I know people don't do their homework and they still do just fine in that class, but you just, you need to do the homework, honestly. It really, really helps, I promise. Um, homework is very important. I always do my homework because it always helps me remember the curriculum and like get it engraved in my memory. And yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, you gotta do it, you gotta do it. And of course, study a good amount of days prior to your chapter tests because those are important. Now this is not for the AP test. Four to five days won't cut it. You need like a whole month to start studying before the AP test. This is just before a chapter test. So let me put in chapter test. Okay, uh, and every week, this is big. This is something that you definitely need to do. Every week, look back on one to two distant lessons. So if you, when you start kind of forgetting about lessons and stuff like that, just look back on them and keep them in your memory as much as possible. So that's big. This is definitely gonna help you for the AP exam. And if you have trouble understanding, definitely look up YouTube review videos. I did this a lot uh, when I didn't understand things like normal models at first, because they are kind of confusing at first and then you get the hang of them, but I didn't get them at first. So I looked up YouTube review videos and I definitely understood everything. So I highly suggest you do that as well. And uh, now I'm gonna go on it to the one over here, let's just make sure that it is still recording. And it is, fantastic, okay. Um, so second semester, I highly suggest that you begin reviewing a chapter each week, uh, kind of go back and forth between data analysis, data collection, probability, and inference, definitely. Or if you wanna do like January data collection, let's do January data collection, and then February could be data analysis. Actually, I think those are switched. Um, and I, I don't know, I totally forgot which order they come in. January, February, March, you could do, um, you could do probability and then April inference. I mean, it works really, but I suggest kind of going back and forth between a chapter each week. That way when you're in April, you don't forget data analysis and data collection. Uh, and definitely do one to two FRQs each night. Just kind of do them, review. Uh, it doesn't really matter if it's on data collection or data analysis, probability or inference, just do at least one to two FRQs each night. And do these FRQs that are on the College Board website from previous AP exams or AP stats exams, because that is really what's gonna show up on your exam. So definitely do the FRQs on the College Board website. And then come April, you guys need to definitely be doing three to four FRQs every night and have at least one of them be a number six. So every single night, you guys should be doing at least one number six for the month of April because I don't know if you guys know about number six in AP stats, but this is a very, very important part in the FRQ section. It's worth like three points per like answer. So let's say if there's A, B, C, D, E, there's like, if you get this one right, or if you get partial credit, you can get like three, 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 opposed to all of the other ones, which is like one, 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 one. So it's really, really important. I don't know if this is exactly true. It's something like this, I forget. Uh, I took the exam a couple months ago, so I totally forgot all of this. But you need to do number six correctly. If you get at least A and B right on the AP exam, you should pass. You need to get A and B right. And if you wanna get like a, like a five or a four, you gotta do C and D right. And then 
for the really brave people, you do E. So, yeah, you guys really need to do number six. You really need to do well on that one, so you need as much practice as you can. April has, what, like 30 days? So that's 30 number sixes that you could do. Actually, I don't even think that there are that many, but do as many as you can, okay? Definitely do as many number sixes as possible because they are highly important. And then this brings my next point, which is the Barron's AP Statistics 8th edition uh, review book. I didn't really use this for review. I just used it for the seven practice tests that they have. There's uh, one diagnostic and then six other ones that you could take. I did like only five because I didn't have enough time. I barely got the review book and I started using it in the last week. So I, I ended up doing a practice te test every day. But I don't recommend you doing it like that. I don't know if that really helped me. But you need to do the practice tests because those help. Uh, so I recommend doing the diagnostic in the beginning of April. So let me write beginning April for the diagnostic. And then do, um, and then calculate your score, figure out what you've got, and see what you need to improve on, and then study that in the last month. And then in the final two weeks, you got to do four FRQs every night and at least two of them to be number sixes. And also the Barron's, uh, the Barron's AP Statistics Review Book has number sixes. So uh, those are good reviews as well. And uh, do at, uh, three practice tests per week because you did one diagnostic and it leaves you with six left over. So do in the final two weeks, do three each week and you should be good. Honestly, you guys should do well. AP Stats is a really fun class, and again, I took this as a sophomore. I got an A plus both semesters, and I got a five on the exam, which is actually pretty insane. I didn't think I was going to do that good, but I really liked that class, and I really immersed myself into that class, so if you guys want to do that well, you need to immerse yourself and get it, get it involved and understand everything that's going on. If you don't understand anything, you need to take it upon yourself to look up review videos and stuff like that because that's what's seriously going to help you. So, thanks for watching. I hope this is going to help you. You don't really have to go like follow this exact format, but this is kind of what I did and it helped, you know? So, I suggest you do this as well and good luck on all of your AP Stats exams. I hope you all do fantastic. Thanks for watching, everyone.